Hi, my name is Renee Howard. I'm Assistant Director of Administration and Receivables in UVM Student Financial Services. This video is intended to answer frequently asked billing questions and provide some helpful tips to avoid receiving a late fee or a hold. The billing statement issued to you reflects the activity on your account as of the bill date. Any subsequent activity, like registration changes or new payments to the account, will be reflected on the account and billing activity page, which shows real-time activity. This page is available in proxy accounts and in the MyUVM student portal. Your billing statement might show a charge for UVM health insurance. If you are covered by your own health insurance and do not need UVM health insurance, you will need to complete a health insurance waiver form available on the UVM Center for Health and, Be health and Wellbeing website in order to have the charge removed from your account. The pending section of your bill will show any financial aid resources we are expecting to pay but have not paid yet. We accept this as payment information towards your bill, even if it has not paid. The disbursement date for the fall semester is August 19th for many financial aid resources, like the Federal Direct Loans and the Federal Pell Grant. Provided all loan requirements like entrance counseling and promissory notes have been completed, these items are scheduled to pay on August 19th. Outside scholarships or private education loans will pay once we receive the money. We count these resources um, towards the bill as long as they are listed as pending aid. It is important to accept the financial aid that you plan to use in your MyUVM award offer prior to the due date of the bill so it's reflected as pending payment. If this is your first time borrowing, the federal loans will also require that you complete the entrance counseling and the master promissory note at studentaid.gov listed under the complete aid process menu. If you have other financial aid resources like outside scholarships, please email us a copy of the scholarship letter or information to sfs at uvm.edu. Scholarship checks should be mailed to our office location, 223 Waterman Building, 85 South Prospect Street, Burlington, Vermont, 05405. To make a direct payment to the account, we recommend the online payment options. They are applied to the account immediately. We encourage the online e-check payment, which does not have a fee. This payment method requires your bank routing and account numbers. The online credit card payment has a 2.85% card processing fee. Our bill due date, August 19th at 4.30 p.m. is a receive by deadline, not a postmark by deadline, so we encourage utilizing these online payment methods to avoid any unforeseen delay in the postal service. Having said that, you may still need to mail a payment. Please be sure the check has the student's name and ID number on it. For the fastest processing, Please send personal checks and 529 check payments directly to our bank lockbox at UVM PO Box 1306, Williston, Vermont 05495. Please send overnight and priority mail through FedEx, UPS, or US Postal Service priority mail to our office address in Burlington. We offer a monthly payment plan for a $60 enrollment fee. These plans begin on July 1st. If you have already set up your payment plan, you should see the first July payment credited to the bill. The remaining payment plan amount will be listed under the pending payment section. You may still set up a monthly payment plan beginning August 1st through November 1st. For more information on our payment plans, please visit the website shown on the screen. The website here is our Student Financial Services homepage, which has a link to our new student orientation website, which provides other videos on various topics. This homepage also has links to lots of other information about billing, payment options, how to apply for and accept financial aid. Thank you again for your time. If you have additional questions that I did not answer and you're unable to find the answers on our website, please contact us. We are here to help.